I'm flashing it back to the 1980s with a geocache that is inspired by a popular board game. Let's go. Okay, only 60 feet away from ground zero. Ooh, a geo trail. Now this geocache is other sized, basically not listed. They didn't want to specify it was small, medium, or regular, or even large. We don't know what size we're looking for here. <laughs> but there it is. Oh my goodness. What is going on here? Wow. Look at all this stuff. Oh my gosh, we got a, it looks like a man made of electrical components, conduit boxes and things here. There's Velcro at certain spots. Oh, there's a hole under the Velcro. Yeah, there's a hole there too. How about on the side here? I see more Velcro. Another hole, same here, yep. On the side, yep, okay. And there's even one on here on his leg. And that's got a hole. Well, this cache is called Operation 2 and is put out by the farm girl and she gave me explicit permission to film this geocache, put it on my channel. So thank you very much, farm girl. And we're gonna see what we can do here. Well, what are you thinking, Neil Moore? You think this guy needs some surgery or uh, you think he's well? You think he has the container we're looking for? Um, man, I think we probably have to get into this box here because it says surgical instruments kit. Yeah. For doctors only. I'm a geocacher, not a doctor. <laughs> but I can play one on YouTube, I suppose. Watch your fingers. Scrub in. Oh my gosh, there's all sorts of metal utensils. This is uh, looking dangerous. The note here says, select a tool to find the key that unlocks the cache. Oh, okay, I see. I see the lockbox now. That's next to the tools. That's got the cache inside. What do we got for our tools? We got a scalpel? Uh, we got nope, a knife? No scout. We got some forceps. Oh, okay. Basically long tweezers here. Okay. We have... Um, Those are forceps as well. Yeah, but there's a special name for these. That's for remember. grabbing like yeah. uh, your gallbladder and taking it out. Yeah, and it clamps it. Okay. What else? Uh, we have two of these. It looks like this one is broken. Oh. But they're both magnetic. Oh. Oh, okay. Like some kind of magnetic wire yeah. thing. It's just a bendy wire with uh, a magnet it appears at the end insertion of tool wait a minute did we run the anesthesia uh kind of forgot about that that might explain the look on his face right now <laughs> yeah oh well keep digging nurse forceps forceps oh you dropped him on the ground there you go here's some forceps let's pull this out what do we got what's this guy got inside of him <gasps> some keys is that the keys we need, or is this like a red herring? I don't know. Well, given the fact the lock looks like that, I don't think, and I'm pretty sure, these keys aren't gonna do anything for us. Although that one kinda looks like a saw. That their charm looks like a saw, don't you think? That's an amputation tool. We're digging, going to the chest cavity. Watch out for the, uh, for the art article vein, or whatever it's called. I'm sorry, doctor. This man has no heart. I called it an article vein. I mean, I told you I was a geocacher, not a doctor. <laughs> and now you know. <laughs> oh, we got something here. What, what's this? Careful, well, careful. Well, I, better, I better grab the forceps. You don't want to cause a bleeder. Well, I better grab the forceps yeah. again. Here we go. Let's... Okay. Oh my gosh, there's a donut! A donut's in there, but that's that's not a key that we need. This guy had breakfast like I had. This must be Homer Simpson. Mmm, donut. And that key is not going to go in that lock. I know that. This key must be for when there's some bone issues because it's a skeleton key. Mmm. All right, let's dig into the shoulder here. The shoulder cavity. The shoulder joint? Joint. Yeah, it's not really a cavity, I guess. Ooh, and that looks like a key we might be able to use. Well, okay, here's the key, and that, that key is not going to go in that lock either, I don't think. But there's also another charm on this. Not a donut, not a saw, this is a, a hammer. All right, going into the side here, what, what would this be? Like the intestines, maybe? I don't know. Nurse, I need some forceps. Got it, coming in, forceps. Here we go. Ooh, Ooh. Ooh we got another key and another saw charm here. I'm pretty sure that's not going to go into that lock, though. All right, we're going to the foot joint here, the foot bone. The knee bone, the knee joint? I don't know. 
Well, we got Neil Moore doing all the surgery here. What do you think? What do you think of the job he's doing for us? I think he's I doing think excellent. Excellent job. I think he's going to survive. I think the blood is minimal so far. Right. I don't think there's going to be infection. Uh, but we don't have yet what we need. I don't, I don't think so. We got to keep, we gotta keep working. Yeah. He's going to replace that knee joint. All right, going into this uh, hip joint here, looks like. We need to play with the femur. What do you have here, Neil Moore? I used hand sanitizer. Okay. That looks very promising. Huh. Now that looks like a key that's going to be used, and it's got a hacksaw charm for whatever reason. But I'm pretty sure this here key looks like it goes in that lock. And of course, it's the last place we look. Why would we keep looking if we already found it, right? Makes sense. We have Joan here from JM Gully. She's going to do the honors for us. Yes! There it is. Joan, great work. Neil Moore, fantastic job on your surgical skills. <laughs> Thank you. I was uh, sweating through that whole thing, and fortunately, Joan came in with the assist, and we were able to, to find the key to this surgery. Well, Joan, what do we have in the cache here? Any bones, any body parts? No, no, just a flashlight. We that, got a flashlight. It actually, you could have used that no, earlier. No, yeah. What else we got? A little charm here of some sort, and a magical dice. A golf tee here from Iowa Pete. Ooh, that's, that's special. That's special right there. Well, Dr. Jason, I've done all this work. I'm gonna give you the honors of closing up. Thanks, Dr. Neil. Geocacher Jason here, not a doctor. Uh, I will do my best to uh, minimize blood flow, infection, and the need to return to the surgical table within the next three months. All right, sterilize those tools. We, we, we already sterilized them, believe us, just believe us. Setting it up for the next geocachers who are on their way, I can hear them coming now. Be careful, you don't want to cause infection. <laughs> no, not that tendon. <laughs> don't cut there. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> While those folks are trying their hand at geocaching surgery, I'm putting some videos here on the screen for you to watch. Check those out. And thank you very much for joining me. We'll see you at the next episode of Geocaching with Hailmeister.